For those of you that have used much older versions of AutoCAD, you'll remember the command line for older versions. Basically, it's always down at the bottom of the screen here, and it was the original input method for all AutoCAD commands in much older versions. It's still in the newer versions, even though we've got things like the ribbon interface and so on and so forth. Now, the reason it's still there is there are still times where you do need to type things into AutoCAD and utilize the submenus in AutoCAD as well. This is the same for all versions of AutoCAD, including AutoCAD Electrical. So you'll notice there I've got the command line down at the bottom of the screen, and if I click there where it says type a command, I get a cursor and I can start typing, so I can type a command in there if I want to. Now, something you can do with the command line is it doesn't have to sit at the bottom of the screen. What I can do is I can just click here, see the little arrow up here and drag, and I can make that bigger. Notice I've got settings, so I can change the settings. The input settings can be changed with autocomplete, autocorrect, search content, and so on. I can also put the input search options in there by clicking there, and that'll bring up the input search options when I type things into the command line. So it'll enable things like autocorrect if I type something incorrectly that's misspelt. I'll just cancel that for the moment. Now, the other thing I've got there as well, you'll notice, is I've got options. So if I click there, that will actually open up the AutoCAD Electrical Options dialog box. So I can go in there and change all of my default settings for AutoCAD Electrical if I want to. A lot of the time you won't need to, so I'm going to cancel that there. If I drag this back down, hover here and drag back down, can you see I can take that bound like that and it just gives me one line now. But what I can also do is just click on this little dotted area and drag and I can move the command line around. So if I take it there and then expand it, I can make it bigger as well. Great if I've got a dual head graphics card where I've got two monitors coming off of my graphics card on my PC. You wouldn't normally get that option off of a laptop unless you obviously had a VGA and an HDMI socket, for example. You could run two monitors like that. Normally, it tends to be on a desktop machine, and what people tend to do is they have their command line on one screen, they have their AutoCAD drawing area on the other screen with all the drawing tools like the ribbon, and in this case for AutoCAD Electrical, the project manager. Now, the nice thing is, if I want to change this back to the original setting, I can click on that little grey area there and drag, and as I drag across, watch what happens. Can you see the sort of shadow there? As soon as I get that, I release, and that'll dock it nice and neatly, and I can just drag upwards if I need to, just hover there, drag it upwards to two lines like so, and we're back to normal. So you can see there, that's how we work with the command line in AutoCAD Electrical 2015.